bunch of new details on dark dimension eight and this is going to be an official post in addition to this we're also going to get some information on blade the blade team and null in battle world so there's going to be a bunch of stuff in this video dark dimension eight official debrief of the dark dimension eight requirements first finisher celebration and to valhalla event dark dimension eight cue the ominous music because the portal to the newest dark dimension opens soon everyone should know by now that bargaining won't get you far but a, ro a strong roster with strategic synergies may just get you through the horde of enemies waiting in this realm of woe doors to dark dimension 8 officially open on september 16th which is next monday in game in the epic part uh there's already a countdown timer that showed up in the game yesterday commanders who emerge victorious will earn powerful new ally in odin along with Asgardian King's Ransom and Rewards. We're gonna talk about that because there's going to be some diamonds for Blade and they also mention the next Legendary. It's not gonna be Blade. We'll get into that here in a minute. Review the details below and begin powering up your roster for the ultimate roster test, Dark Dimension 8. Requirements. You don't need to complete any of the previous Dark Dimensions to enter Dark Dimension 8. The previous Dark Dimension characters are also not required, but this is a big but, by the way. We strongly recommend that you use Mephisto and Super Scroll. They strongly recommend that you use Mephisto and Super Scroll. How many people have Mephisto? A couple thousand? I don't know, but not a lot. These two particular Dark Dimension characters will greatly assist your efforts to unlock the Allfather, which is Odin. The choice is yours. Now, they're going to go over the requirements and... It does require five characters on each node, and this is going to be purple ISO three, which we've known for a while. Here are the trait requirements. I did get confirmation that this is the order of the trait requirement nodes. City hero, city villain, global hills, global villain, cosmic or legendary. There was a confusing on this because there was an in-game message yesterday that had these two swapped. This mirrors the information that is in the dark dimension eight planner on the website apocalypse doom and altering can be used in global villains right here um, mephisto super scroll dramamu and ultimus and kestrel can be used in the cosmic notes so that's where it's going to be challenging calling all commanders you may have noticed that there's no gear requirement to enter dark dimension eight and that's not a mistake the first missions are more forgiving than the usual dark dimension entrance and we're inviting all commanders to step foot into this realm to join the fun. Make no mistake, the difficulty ramps up quickly and the true ferocity of Dark Dimension enemies will be on full display. Boy, goodness, I wonder what that means. We encourage everyone to take advantage as many Dark Dimension 8 node rewards as possible. But if your roster could use more resources and power to meet the challenge, use the initial rewards to meet the challenges of previous Dark Dimensions. Odin awaits worthy commanders along with gear and resources to further fortify your roster. We're going to talk about ravens here in a minute. T4s, mega orbs, elite sevens, diamond orbs, mega gold orbs, T3 ISO credits, T3 L1 ions. So those are going to be purple, crimson, mini uniques. First run rewards are going to be a five yellow Odin. And then we get the, some more T3s, which is going to be purple uh crimson gear and then the second run will be to seven yellows now what is not here is red stars and so there's going to be a separate event and milestone for that and it looks like that has something to do with this here let me get go to the other side earn odin's red stars by completing dd8 missions before october 14th so there is some sort of timetable some sort of pressure as far as getting the red stars I, I, that's what i'm guessing that means right here to valhalla dark dimension first finisher challenge is back so they did this with a lot of other dark dimensions but this year we're all joining the battle in dining on the rewards to valhalla features prizes for the first 10 players who conquered dark dimension eight so rank one a three diamond for upcoming legendary and three diamonds for blade blade will not be the next legendary we're also going to have some information on whether or not blade is going to be a dark promotion character and we have some small amount of information on what his kit is going to look like two through ten 
three diamond for blade two diamond for blade for four through ten milestones going live when the doors of dark dimension ape opened are the milestones for two valhalla which deliver key resources for your roster odin and your orca squad building efforts complete each dark to seven eight mission to earn ravens ravens unlock milestone rewards as odin red stars fully crafted g19s purple gear crimson and teal mystic gear ciphers and sentinel evolution orbs with a path to orcus event and according to the infographic right here which is behind me uh that will end it says complete dd issues missions before october 14th so there's a couple things that are new about this dark dimension i mean one there's no gear tier requirement it's just going to be purple iso 3 but they are suggesting gear tier 19 but they said that the first nodes would be easy but when you get to the the last part you're gonna need mephisto and super scroll okay celebrate the victors no matter if you're gunning for the top 10 or just having fun making a dent in the next dark dimension we're all celebrating the journey everyone gets to join in on the rewards fun with the special web poll featuring characters used by the victor excluding legendaries mythic and epic characters players will receive 100 character shards hopefully they're going to be annihilators right for the winner of the web poll and make sure you check the store during the celebration special 10 for 10 deals all right on the website there already is a dd8 planner and here they talk about it says organize your teams by the required traits to see who has all the gear who has all the required purple iso 8 resources which pieces you still need to acquire and while gear tier 19 isn't a requirement for entry we recommend equipping it to characters you plan on bringing into dark dimension 8 so we've included it on the planner so like if you go to the planner it'll give you like the gear requirements to gear tier 19 which has created some confusion and what they're saying is that they're recommending gear tier 19 but only the purple ISO 3 is what's required. Uh, radioactive treat store extended. So a lot of people have asked about this. Help with your Dark Dimension 7 prep. We've extended the availability of the radioactive treat store. Let's go take a look at what that is. Um, that's where the purple is right now. So this is the radioactive treat store. Fine. Let's go over some of the other things that we have in store. We've got some artwork right here of Blade. Also more artwork of blade key things blade is not a dark promotion character is also not legendary there are elements in blades key kits that are useful for dark dimension his ultimate has a 20 percent health steal on the primary target his basic reduces speed bar by 10 percent hits twice so this health steal on primary target uh is is quite impactful when you start getting characters that have monstrous health pulls, you know, some of them are over 10 million now. So that would be 20%, 2 million damage. My goodness on some of those bigger characters, let's say. Null is the first battle world boss and that Blade is not a legendary character. Now, we've had some information in the data mines on blade for a minute now so this was a dead of mine coming from quick draw several weeks ago and it's interesting it's talking about the knights night stalkers team blade oath man thing with agatha and mood knight rewards so blade not going to be legendary not going to be a dark promotion character we've read some of the kits oath is going to be uh this right here so this was voted on this is karen page with the mentor of morbius that was all voted many 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 months ago and i believe that is oath man thing was also a vote so there was a vote between man thing and was that werewolf by night so that's gonna be a part of the team agatha no confirmation on this at all but there's a tv show right and then Moon Knight was a, was a vote. So this is the only thing in the Data 9 that, as far as this part right here goes, that has not been confirmed yet, Agatha. So we'll have to see if that is true. Also, Null has been in the Data Mines. We had a portrait for Null for a long time, seven since 729. And then there was a post which had some Easter, week, uh, Easter egg. This was on the Marvel Strike Forest uh, YouTube channel from two weeks ago 
where this is supposed to be something related to battle world and so and we had this spiral thing right here which is supposed to be a null so now we're getting confirmation now that null is the first battle world boss no information on whether or not null will be a playable character or not let me know what you think in the comment section as always thanks for watching bye for now